Hey guys, welcome to Turn the Hill. Welcome to the place where we empower the high vibers. I hope all is well with you. Love here. Welcome to your energy of the week reading. Let's get into it. I come to you, Holy God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with the divine will. What is it that we need to know? Thank you so much. What do we need to know? I don't know about y'all, but I've been sleeping like a mug, okay? I've been out here in these dream streets, okay? Oh, look at that. We have stars in the sky coming through. Limitless possibilities. All right. Oh, look at all this water energy coming through. Whale song resonating. I, I'm getting that dreamer energy actually coming through here. Um, now, while I have not been necessarily meditating formally, um, I have been resting a lot, right? But this energy is coming through as like a form of tapping in, whether it is actually sleeping whether it is actually meditating things like that but it's getting into your finding ways to get into that quiet space okay in your mind and spirit that's what i'm getting all right with the resonating it's it's a need to regroup reassess so things make sense It's like going back to base. It's recharging. Yeah, all that. Going back to base, recharging your energy, and then coming back out and feeling refreshed. I'm getting this energy of like waking up in the morning, like, <sighs> you know, the birds are chirping and, you know, whatever. Things feeling brand new after this rejuvenation stage. Wow, here we are. Winter's dream. Yeah. This is a dream dreamer time. We're in Dreamsville, it seems. Um, jewel web connectivity coming through. I feel like there are things that's already in the mix, already in the works. <laughs> We're already in the mix of things, right? But for some reason, it seems like some of it is not making sense. That's what I feel like we have to regroup so things can make sense again. It's like forgetting to um, speak the language of the universe. Um, It's like being out of touch, being out of touch, being out of practice and needing to go back to just go on pause mode and then come back so that you can understand what's happening. I, okay. I hope that makes sense. Whatever. All right, let's get into the reading. How else can we say this? All right, so it's like if if you had a clear uh, vision of where you want to go, you were on point, you knew what you need to do, ah, 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 and then out of nowhere, it just felt like you didn't know what direction you were going to go in. Out of nowhere, it was just like, wait, where am I, right? It's, it's a need for you to just sit down in that moment and then wake up and then you'll look at everything around you. Even before, it might have looked like you felt, it might have looked like, a desert but when you wake up out of this rejuvenation moment then everything looks a little bit different it no longer looks like a desert you start seeing trees where they you might start noticing the trees that were already there for example you might notice the water that was there that you didn't know was there all right look i've been sleeping a lot okay so my my head is fuzzy bear with me I hope that, I think that made sense. You sleep, you dream, and you wake up, and it makes sense. All right, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Let me alone. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, here we are with the moon card coming through. All this watery energy coming through. I love it. I am getting this nighttime energy, though. So there's a reason why I'm talking about me dreaming, me sleeping, me resting, right? Um, but yeah, I'm getting all this moon, um, all this water underground energy underground meaning the things that are happening when you're sleeping the things that are happening in your subconscious i think i don't know for some of you guys the dream space is where you're working out solutions to the the out 
the the outside world. Whew, my words are messed up right now. Okay. Six of one. Oh, I'm hearing guaranteeing a win. Oh. Some of you guys are using the dream space for practice. That's what I'm getting. All right. Whether you know it or not, you're like working out plan A, plan B, plan C in the dream space. You're working out solutions before actually doing it here in this, in this world. Or this might start happening this week because it's the energy of the week, right? All right, cool. So pay attention to your dreams. All is water. All is water. God. All the cups coming out. So we have the queen of cups coming through in the subconscious world with the three of cups in reverse. And then we have the knight of cups upright. Some of you guys are getting ideas in your meditative state or dream space, whatever the case is. But the ideas are coming through in, in the quiet. There's clear communication that will be coming through. Pay attention. All right. It's something about this rumbling that's happening in your subconscious. It might be making you feel like I don't know, I'm getting this energy of the emotions feeling a little bit stirred up. I'm just seeing like you're underwater and you know somebody kicks up sand underwater or whatever the case is. Or uh, let's say it's a, some type of sea creature right under, right beneath the, the sea floor and it's coming up and you see all the sand and everything just gets a little bit messed up that's the emotions things are getting kicked up as a result of this is what i'm getting either way there's a wind coming through it's a good thing it's a wind coming through um especially with this knight of cups and the queen of cups you're going on this path that feels right but it might shake things up okay Queen of Swords. I think this is just an inner. Okay, what's getting shaked up? Shaken up. <laughs> what's getting shaken up? I feel like it's our inner world is getting shaken up because like I feel like we get this. <sighs> See, it feels very elusive. And that might be the frustration right there. Because we do have the Queen of Swords. It's, it's not giving direction. You're just feeling things. You're sensing it. Or that's what we we're about to experience. This feeling things, sensing it, maybe in the dream world, you're experiencing the life that you want to live, and then you come out here, or you wake up, and then you're like, what is, what is this? this what, what the fuck is this? You know, that's the energy that I'm getting here. It's like, it's not matching up, and it's some type of confusion that's happening, or um, frustration is happening because of, because it's not matching, it's not resonating. Something about it's not resonating. Think of it, so if this starts to happen, just as I mentioned, this is the energy of you working out certain plans before it does happen. Because then you would have to put those plans in motion when you wake up, right? Okay, moving on. Hangman. Hangman coming out in a verse along with the Wheel of Fortune. But this is coming out in the previous energy. Why is that coming out here? This is this is what's causing the frustration. Um, okay. So it's like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman coming out, I, I'm not going to say be patient, but <laughs> ultimately, that's what, that's what this reading is talking about. But anyway, so we have the Wheel of Fortune coming out with the Hangman coming out in a verse and the Queen of Pentacles, which is lovely, lovely energy. It's like, okay, I feel all this lovely energy. I just don't see it yet with the Page of Swords. 
it's that's what I'm saying. It's something that's not resonating. It's like I know where I want to be. Why am I not there yet? Oh, I'm going to dream about it. Okay. But where is it here? You know, why isn't it matching up here? Why isn't my mindset syncing up? Or why isn't my spirit aligned with it? Why aren't situations aligned with it? It's something, it's something that it's like, it's, there's a disconnect right now between the two worlds. Okay. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Five of Cups. All these cups. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so tired of these cups and these emotions getting stirred up. Oh my gosh. So we have this Two of Cups coming out. Oops, excuse me. Ace of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups upright. Because something isn't resonating, like there's a disconnect between what you feel should happen and what's actually happening or what's happening in the dream space and what's happening in, in the real world or what your plan was, your initial plan was and what actually happened is whatever that disconnect is for you. It's causing resentment. It's causing resentment. Um, but with the Two of Cups here, we're still in alignment. That's the thing. So, as I mentioned, we're in a desert, or what we feel like we're in a desert. We're not. That's what I'm getting. We feel like we're in a desert where there's no trees, no water in sight. But if we just take time out to rest or meditate or whatever the case is, we'll be able to conjure up the solutions. But the solutions are already there is what I'm getting as well. It's just because we have this level of resentment or something like that or regret or whatever, something just not feeling good about the disconnect between desire and actual reality. Because of that resentment towards it, it's stopping us from seeing the trees around us. It's stopping us from seeing the, the, the water around us. It just feels like everything is desolate. And that's not the case. All right. How am I going to sit? I, I, okay. All right. So we have to take it, e take it easy on ourselves. Okay. Take it easy on ourselves. All right. Okay. All right. This period of resting, it I don't it might not just be for this week. This period of resting it might be a little bit longer than this week, all right? So with that being said, allow yourself to break. Allow yourself to take a break if need be. I'm getting this with this winter's dream gestation period coming through. This period of resting in the desert might be a bit longer than anticipated. It's not a fail is what I'm getting. All right. It's a, it's a necessity though. It's, it's you need to have, and you, you need to take this break. That's what it feels like. Spend more time in the dream space. Or daydreaming, okay. Spend more time in your emotions, in your imaginative state. This is the time to do that, again. If you already feel like you already know what direction you're going to go or you wanted to go, you already had this planned out or something like that, it's time to do another round of revisions right now. Another round of, of reflection so that you can go back to the drum board and refine, refine your desire so that we can have another manifestation come through and see if that hits. I did a reading about that, about how we... How sometimes we, we ask for certain things, we ask for a manifestation, we get the thing and we're like, oh, that didn't really, that didn't really hit the way I wanted it to. That, that wasn't the full picture, right? And you got to go back to the drawing board, look, be like, okay, well, all right, I want this part of that manifestation, but that part wasn't it, okay? But also give yourself a pat on the back for manifesting at all, 
right? And then realize that, hey, okay, I was sloppy in what I was asking for. Let me be a little bit more specific this time, you know? And so I feel like it's some of that going on. And um, instead of just, you know, just choosing something else and just going for it is actually planning it out, imagining, fantasizing about it, and really working it out in your mind. Like, how does this actually feel? Is this something that I actually do want? How would this fit in my life? You know, it's something like that. The, the imagination is going to help us see how, how we can formulate or refine this manifestation to actually fit in our lives. Some of us were asking for certain things that just didn't fit. All right, so that's why I kind of came in a little bit clunky. Or it just wasn't the, it wasn't the best fit. Okay. So, when you're asking for things, let me fix this cuz this is bothering me right here. Why is it? Okay. <laughs> so, when you're asking for things, are you just, how are you focusing on it, on it? Like if it's an affirmation, for example, are you just saying the affirmation? If you have a vision board, are you just staring at the image? Um, are you journaling? Are you writing it out? Those are all great. But we're talking about the tools of visualization now, right? Actually working out if it's like a new, a new apartment, for example, or a new home, a new house. Okay. How does this feel? What does my day to day feel like? I wake up in the morning and I see what? Okay. I wake up and I see this. Okay. And then I do what? Oh, I make my coffee. How does my kitchen look? Right. And just really getting into it. Right. Um, then I sit, I sit on my balcony and what, what does my view look like? Oh, okay. Right. And you really go into it. Like, let's go more in depth and let's expand on this manifestation, um, by way of visualization and just have fun with fantasizing and daydreaming. But I feel like that's what we're, we're going to start doing in the dream state. Um, but some of us, it, it can, I mean, you can jumpstart it by intentionally doing that, um, in your waking life. Okay. It's the frustration though. It feels like it's coming from living that life in the dream world and then coming here and waking up and, and not seeing what you want. And it's like, damn, why can't I just live it here? You know, that's what I'm getting. It's some type of emotional, um, yeah. Uh, fallback, uh, splashback, whatever the word is, fallout, emotional fallout from living, from daydreaming about this for some reason. Oh, we're going to have to work through that. All right. Anything else? All right. What's the blockages? Six of Pentacles coming out in a verse. Page of Swords. <laughs> we're being challenged. Okay. Hey, what's that card? Two of Pentacles. So the blockage here is coming out with the Six of Pentacles, all right? That Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is, once again, things not matching up to what we think we should have or not matching up to our daydreams, our fantasies, or whatever it is that we're experiencing in the in the, the astral plane or whatever the case is, all right? Um, we're being challenged to make it happen in this world. Um Okay, don't stay stuck in the daydream, daydream uh, energy, daydreaming realm. Don't stay stuck in your dreams. Actually take a step. Use it as inspiration. Don't wait for it. Don't, don't sit here and be in a dream world and say, oh man, I would love for this to happen. And then you wake up and you pissed off that it ain't nothing happening. Take a step. Use your dreams as inspiration. Daydream. If you're not sure where you want to go, if you're not sure what you need to be doing next, your imagination is going to be your inspiration. Allow the childlike energy to flow through you right now. This is where the resting is coming in, not putting the pressure on yourself, allowing yourself to just daydream and have fun with it because your child, your inner child is going to let you know exactly what it is that you want and what you need right now. Not what you think you should have, not what you, what makes sense to have, not what you, what everybody think you should have around here. Okay. What makes sense? That doesn't matter right now. Follow your heart, follow your child, your inner child here. Um, but your imagination, open up the door to your imagination, allow it to be empty. 
it'll start filling up. Your imagination will start filling up that space. All right. And then just observe it. When you start imagining, if you start, if, if it's about a home, for example, and, and what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about, oh, my ideal home? Okay. You might be surprised what comes up sometimes, okay? Just honor it. Don't talk yourself down. Allow your inner child to just run free, okay? If, 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 you, if you're talking to a little kid who's like, I want to be a ballerina, I want to be an astronaut. Just, you know, you wouldn't, hopefully you wouldn't shut them down, right? Uh, so treat your, treat your inner child like that. Treat your inner child like that. Like, okay, that's what you want? Interesting. Write it down, Okay? And do your best to take a baby step towards it. With this page of wands here. Honor it. Honor your inner child's dreams. <sighs> okay. I didn't know it was going to go there. It's so interesting because this energy here is like... With this Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Pentacles, this is the energy of having it all together. This is very adult, right? This is very adult. I know what I want. I got it going. I got it together. Uh-uh, right? I have these adult dreams, adult wishes, and we're being led to just bring it back a little bit because it's something about that that's actually stopping us up. It doesn't mean that the dream changes. It's just how we go about the dream. It needs to be a bit more free form, a bit more fluid. So that things could come in. See, we're, we're going for this upgrade and we might be going for it with this type of brute force and willpower. Like, you know, this is what I have to do. Uh, step one, step two, step three. These are the things. This is what I do in a mature manner, you know, and it's like. As opposed to this energy, which is very like chill. She's, what is she doing? Laying on the ground, doing yoga and hair all different colors. And she got the cat and you know what I mean? She's doing all types. She's doing the most right now, right? It's none, none of this makes sense. And it's okay. It's okay. Have some, have some fun with it. There might be a fear of going off track if we don't do things in the right strategic way you know what i mean anyway all right what do we feel let's see but doing things in the right strategic way is not making room for the magic it's not making room for our inspiration or our intuition to come through we have to leave that door open and then our will can work alongside our imagination of course we still have to get things done, right? We still have to take a step. Just be more lighthearted about it. All right. So we have the Knight of Pentacles coming through. Yeah, ultimately, there's a need for us to stop, regroup, and change how we're working towards our goals. Um, we're being a little bit too serious. Anything else? This is fear of loss. I mean, it's going to be a fear of loss for sure. Oh, what's this? For some of you guys, it might feel like you've been working towards something. You've been taking, you have been taking steps. But it hasn't been working. And it's because of the mindset, the, the, the fear of loss that's tainting your behavior. As opposed to, you, you're taking the right steps. Talked about this in the last reading, um, about taking the right steps, but for the wrong reasons. Now we're talking about taking the right steps with the right attitude. It's the attitude that is it's, it's the attitude that is fueling our our actions, our behaviors. 
So what attitude are you using to propel your behaviors, to propel your dreams, you know? Are you going for this thing to prove to the world, like, you know what I'm saying? Back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all want me. You know what I mean? Just being on that resentful shit, bitter shit. Are you fueling it with bitterness? Are you, or are you fueling it with, um, with regret? I'm getting this five of cups energy. Um, are you fueling it with fear? Are you fueling it with, uh, nobody's going to support this, but you're doing it anyway, right? How, what are you fueling your, your, your behaviors with, your, your baby steps with? Because it does seem like baby steps have been taken, but we're kind of going against ourselves. We're going back and forth. We're going against ourselves with whatever this attitude is that we're fueling our behaviors with. All right. So let's be more mindful about that. Um, and we'll end it there. I think that is a, that's the key point. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, I hope all is well. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG, Taryn Hill, add me on TikTok, add me on Twitter. Thank you so much. So we meet again. Peace.